focus is perhaps one of the most crucial skills for high performance to leader. Today, more than ever, leaders are continually distracted. You know, you're scheduled every 15 minutes. You've got incoming phone calls, incoming texts, incoming emails. Uh, we're barraged by not only messages to us, by but also by very tantalizing distractions. You know, you can get lost on the web when you should be focusing on your work. What it takes to be high performing is to put all that aside for the moment and keep your mind on what it is you're doing, the person you're talking with, why you're talking to that person, where you want to go, long-term goals, the short-term steps that are going to help you along the way. And that requires concentration. And, and there are many, many scientific studies now showing that the better a person can focus and uh, put aside those distractors, technically it's called cognitive control, the better they do in any domain of performance. If you look at a champion, doesn't matter, chess, some Olympic sport, uh, business, you're going to see someone who is a world-class focuser. And focus can be developed. Focus is an ability uh, that is very plastic in the brain, as we say, and will get stronger and stronger the more you work it out. And we'll go into details on how to do that. So one example of thinking about focus that's so important is what are you actually focusing? Well, you're actually focusing energy and information flow through your brain. And the one thing that every leader and anyone supporting a leader should know about is that where attention goes, neural firing flows. And where neural firing flows, synaptic growth happens. So where attention goes, neural firing flows, and synaptic connections grow. Now, those three things are the basis of neuroplasticity. So what Dan G is saying, uh, is incredibly important for any leader to know about because, of course, you want your uh, staff, you want your people in the C-level, you want everyone to be able to focus attention. But what that really means is you're harnessing the power of the brain to optimize its functioning. Now, when you take that and put that into the setting of an organization, you realize that attention that is focused is not just something that happens in the brain. It's something that is shared among people. So you can actually show how you can influence others' ability to focus attention if you yourself are working on that. And so it's an individual neuroplasticity as well as a relational process of focus. And that's why focus is so important for organization. When it comes to focus, one of the uh, biggest challenges, I think, for a leader, for an executive, for a coach, for anyone, is to pay full attention to the person in front of you. Today, more than ever, we're pulled away from that person. Um, Excuse it, me, Dan, I want to get my cell phone thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Dan S. and I are working on that collaboratively. <laughs> and uh, it in interpersonal neurobiology, I think it's a, probably a maxim that if people are not paying attention to each other, you're not connecting. And the corollary, of course, is that maximal connection comes with total focus on the other person. And that sounds so simple, but we have to work on that and remind ourselves and be mindful of it more than ever in today's workplace.